sports as ABC and the CFA are proud to present the University of Southern California Trojans and the Sooners of Oklahoma. And hi, everybody, along with Lynn Swan. I'm Roger Twibel. Glad you could be with us, Lynn. Great tradition between these two football teams. 14. Their offense rests on his arm. He had a great game against San Diego State. Threw for four touchdown passes in all of 1991. USC only threw for six, but he also fumbled a football twice. He puts the ball in the air all over the place, and he's, he has got a great arm, a great leader. But to put into perspective the run versus the pass here at Oklahoma, he has completed 27 passes in his first two ball games. Conference titles between these two teams. The Trojans have won the last three meetings. We'll be back in a moment. Southern Cal, Gary Gibbs entering his fourth year at Oklahoma as head coach. Also working with us today, a guy who was a, well, he was a guy that loved to pass the football in a wishbone offense. A rarity here at Oklahoma. He's with our two great colleges with tremendous football traditions. And Williams will take it inside the five. Williams to the 30-yard line. Brought down there by Terry Barnum. As you look at Cale Gundy, line of scrimmage. Throwing it out, it's met immediately. Albert Hall, the receiver, just across the 30 to the 32-yard line. And he was met there by John Herpin, number 23. So that'll set up a punting situation for Oklahoma. And about a yard as we check out the Sooners with Russell Allen, Ricky Wren, and Joe Correa, the men up front. Beavers, 56, watch him, along with Reggie Barnes, Mike Coates, and Terry Collier, the linebackers. The secondary, Walker, Crispin, Wesley, and Shanklin. Making a loss of three on that last place. Weak side, all over him. Reggie Barnes, number 40, a senior from Grand Passes, I think. <laughs> First and 10 from the 46-yard line. Creighton across midfield. Creighton cuts it back. Tripped up at the 38-yard line. Rob Johnson going deep. Nearly intercepted. The intended receiver was Johnny Morton, Malin Wesley, the fresh cross. If he sits back and waits for it, this is what's going to happen. There, Malin Wesley. This with the wind, and it's no good. Back here to Owen Field in Norman, Oklahoma. Better than 72,000 on hand as we see Joey Mickey and Pete Schmidt in there. Gundy got some time. Got his receiver, Albert Hall. Enough for the first. Gundy. Got his guy over there on the far side, Corey Warren. Yeah. Scott Blanton to attempt it. Last year he was 4 of 12. This from 42 yards out. With the wind. And he got it. Scott Blanton, the sophomore, who last year did not make one over 40 yards. Sooners with the field goal right before halftime. Lead Southern Cal 3 0. Potential halftime reports coming up next. Wes Bender, 45, is the deep back on second and 10. Johnson picked off. Picked off. Terry Collier. Touchdown. The 18-yard line. A penalty marker down at the 18-yard line. It was Oklahoma Sooners. Side reception there by Tink Collins breaks one tackle, gets to the 25. The first man there was John Herpin. Blitz and hesitated. He could have been there for a sack. Third down at seven. Oklahoma was late getting their 11th player on the field. As Gundy sends it to the end zone. Touchdown. Corey Warren, 25 yards on the touchdown pass. As Gundy just threw it up in the air. And Warren won the battle for the football. Leads to the Oklahoma touchdown. They lead it 10 0. The biggest play of the game so far is number two. Corey Warren goes up in the air and makes a big grab against number four, Jason Oliver, who was a victim of another great catch two weeks ago against San Diego State when Darnay Scott came over the top 
and just took one away from him. And right now, I'm sure he's feeling a little upset. Oklahoma football without the wishbone or that well, option. Well, you know, I walked over to the pub at the half, you know, a little bar yeah. over here, and, and people were saying, Coach, run the option, run the option. I said, hell, back when I ran the option, you want me to throw the football. <laughs> you can't ever satisfy these people. You know that, right? I know. Very just good. Just win. Just win. Good seeing you. Good seeing okay. you. Okay. Glad, glad to have you up good here with you. us. And here's a, number 15. Who's that down the sideline? Play last week, you're talking about emotional yeah. moment because he's been raised on that field from a little pub. Barry, thanks a lot. We get back to action here on the first and at the line of scrimmage. Jackson, yeah. 41, Mike Coates. They only had one or two receivers. And Clarence is their first receivers coach here. As Johnson's in trouble. And he is stopped by Aubrey Beavers, his fourth sack of the year. First and ten from the 49 out of the shotgun on first down. Johnson's got a man wide open. Conway! Touchdown! 51 yards. 11 yard line checking off is Cale Gundy. They pull a guard, fumble inside. Loose ball. Southern Cal's got it. Southern Cal's got it. Step on pace. Touchdown! field goal kicker in Oklahoma Annals. He's no Uwe Von Schaumann. Four of 12 a year ago, although he's hit one today on fourth down. And no Moore doesn't get it. SC defense comes up big. Step on pace and Brian. And remember, Reggie Perry is a veteran. Started last year as the backup this year. We'll take a look at it. As he gets in, he's rolling out. He's going to get a good block here by Estes Creighton on Brewer. That gives him a little more time. And there's a hit coming right. up right there on the knee. Drew Christman, number 24. The helmet right on the guard line. McFadden. McFadden. Down to the two. Dwight McFadden, the redshirt freshman from Lawton, Oklahoma. 30 seconds left to go. Perry, the option. Reggie Perry. Touchdown. It was interesting as Larry Smith was yelling at him to let the Sooners 33-31 in their last visit to Norman in 1990 and lost by three at Ames in 89 as the kickoff goes to Williams, number 20. And Williams got some room to the outside and he'll be knocked out of bounds. And a penalty marker goes down. And that fighting tempers are flying on the sideline. Folks, I have to tell you, this is one of the toughest places to play the sidelines in any college arena in the world. There is not much room between the out of bounds and a wall and the benches in between. So when a player comes streaking down the sideline like that and it gets a late hit. Well, now the Southern Cal players are coming over to the other side because the officials and the security people were not able to get to this thing immediately. So now all the players out on the field and trying to get everything separated. And you see that man in the middle there. That is uh, Lucius Selman. Selman. When you listen to Lucius, when he says get back, you get back. He's a tough player here, and he doesn't take anything. No. You don't want to get that man angry at you. Well, you have to have it. There's a player being uh, helped That's off Jason the field Seahorn. right there. Seahorn, number 18. Started this afternoon ball game at free safety for the Trojans. Equal foul, ejection, Southern Cal, 15-yard penalty. And the 15-yard penalty against Southern Cal. Let's uh, let's check the tail end of the play as a, a very disappointed Gary Gibbs uh, looks on. Now, see, he's out of bounds, and he's hit there by yeah. number 14 of the Trojans, and that's Cole Ford, the kicker. I mean, what in the world's he doing over there? I'm Roger Twybell. Stay tuned now for the thrifty car rental post-game report featuring scores and highlights from across the country. Final score, Southern Cal 20, Oklahoma 10. Thanks for being with us, everybody.